What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Verzi Effect podcast show. My name is Paul Verzi. You guys listen to episode 573, and today on the program, I have yet another, another great guest, uh, super funny, I want to say super unique comedian. Uh, he's got a, a, a special out on YouTube called Rotten Luther King Jr., Jamar Neighbors is on the show. What's up, dude? What Thank up, you for Paul, being man. here. Good to see you, man. Yeah. Thanks for having me. How dude. long are you in New York for? Uh, to the 25th. Oh, a while. Yeah, I'm. I'm here. I'm here for a very bitch ass reason. What are you here for? <laughs> I'm taking a drama class. Are you really? <laughs> yeah. Oh shit! So you're getting into, you're getting into the acting. I'm getting my thespian shit on. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's a gay. That's hilarious. <laughs> so let me ask you this. I got to ask you this because I saw we have a, our dear friend Andrew Themlis. Oh, yeah. That's my, oh, yeah. He directed this. Yeah. Andrew Themlis, who uh, produces this from for, uh, for, from all, all things comedy in, in Beverly Hills. I call him the Beverly Hills kid. He directed your special. Yeah. Uh, he was telling me about it. He was excited. He saw me some clip. He showed me some clips. Showed me the trailer. I saw some stuff. What I saw of it was really good, really unique and different. And it kind of brought me back to some kind of like, I don't know, in a weird way, like back at, because I saw the IROC. Was yeah, it the IROC? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so you're, you're driving an IROC Z28? Yeah. Uh, red, right? Yeah. 1986. And, yeah, and I remember growing up with dudes who had those. And that was a big Italian Guido shit, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Italian Guidos had it, and it reminded me of like, and then you're performing it in the park, and it made me want to just get on a skateboard. <laughs> it made me want to get on a skateboard. But um, what came into the name? Rotten Luther King Jr. <laughs> <laughs> and listen, I can only get away with that here. Look, okay. <laughs> Saying that. Look, dude, okay, so if you think you can't say that, I was <laughs> going through so many names. I posted I posted it. I just let the fans decide. And so we went through a bunch of names. We went through, uh, since I did it in the park, uh, we were going to call it a Bearback in the Park. Okay. <laughs> and then it was like, they were like, nah. And I was like, all right, well, what about, uh, what did I say? Uh, the Compton Crusader, because I'm from Compton. Okay. And they were like, yeah. And I said, okay. I said this. I said, well, what about Cosby, Retards, and Bitches? <laughs> right? I was going to call it that. <laughs> and people were like, okay, it's funny, but it's not going to come up in the algorithm. <laughs> And I was like, damn. <laughs> so I was hanging out with uh I was hanging out with a lady friend of mine's and I, you know, I'm uh, just joking around with her and shit. And I said, Yeah, they call me Rotten Luther King Jr. Cause I was like saying some real shit. Just but talking I was being, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she was at the, like, you know what? That's actually a funny title. I think you should name your special that. And I said, Rotten Luther King Jr. I said, Yeah, there it is. Oh, okay. So it just came from just riffing. Just yeah, yeah and then she was like, That would be but you did the you gave the uh you gave the online people your the the uh, option. Uh, yep, yep, yep. They chose it. Yep. yep okay. Yep. yep. Rot Luther King. That is kind of like, especially if you're saying some wild shit in a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually a good name. But it's still kind of it's still kind of real. But it's also like it's also like not to be taken too serious. So it's like Martin Luther King would never talk about his dick, nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? But like, <laughs> I, mean, I would. <laughs> like, <laughs> um. So what made the what went into the um I actually I didn't ask them list this, but why what went into the what's it called? The um doing it in the park? Um oh in the pandemic I was doing a I was doing a bunch of shows like oh, you know, outdoor everything, shit. everything was outside. Oh, okay, got it, got it. And then so I hit this one park. And had an amphitheater, and I said, "Man!" And I, the way I, I I did well at the show, and I said, "Damn!" I said, "This is vibes," you know. And I yeah, said, yeah. "And I said, man, you know it'd be hard if I was out here with my shirt off." <laughs> and I was like, man, "People eating Cheetos and shit, like some real, some real <laughs> '80s Charlie Barnett shit." And I'm just out here holding court. And I said, "So Themelis was like, yo, man, let me let me uh, let me do your special," and I was like, "All right." And then he was like, "What do you want to do?" And I said. Bear back in the park, you know, like yeah. like in the fucking park, man. So yep, and then he came out, he scouted, and he was like, "Yeah, it's gonna oh. work. It's gonna be lit." That's dope, man. Mm -hmm. That's cool to like. We have the only job in the world where we can just on an idea. You could just be at the beach looking around, and the next thing you know, you create some shit from the beach. <laughs> yep, <laughs> yep, yep. Let's have people with towels. <laughs> Dolphins will be flipping in the back. I'm gonna boogie board up, and then I'm gonna get out, <laughs> grab a mic, and then everybody's gonna turn around. <laughs> but then it's the best. That's why our job is the best. Yep. I saw you at the stand, 
and uh, I had not seen you before. And um, Themlis and people were like, yo, he's like, he's a different type of dude, different type of thinker. And you did a joke, and it was so silly, and I loved it. You did a joke about um, how the animals had to audition for The Lion King. Oh. The, the little... Uh, the, uh, oh, oh, I was talking about how um, I said, oh, man, you know, it's crazy. I said, um, I said, uh, oh, I said, oh, I hate how they think that animals think that uh, or I hate how people say that some animals are smarter than humans and stuff. And I said, it's bullshit. You know, I said, you know, if Wells is so smart, how come we can capture them and then put them in SeaWorld and make them work for us? I said, they can't do that to us. And I said, uh, and I said uh, they try to do that with the meerkats. The meerkats. And I said, you know, the meerkats, this is true. I said, meerkats have, uh, they have comedians in their colonies, you know? It's true. That's it's, real. Yeah, yeah. It's a real fact. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, <laughs> I'm an animal. I'm an animal trivia freak. Wait, meerkats have like the the humorous version, like the like the. They call the, them comedians. What? 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 what, that's, what okay, okay. So that's what the joke is about. I said. I said. All right. And I said I would like to see their best versus our best. <laughs> And I said, I said, okay. So, and I said, I'll host the show, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and I said, yo, coming to the stage, yo, we got Dave Chappelle. And Dave Chappelle get up there like, hey man, hey, Dave Chappelle came back from Africa, ah, you know. And I said, like, all right, give it up for Dave. I said, all right, man, you see this next dude in the Lion King, one and two. And I said, give it up for Timon. And Timon come up there, he's like. Yo, Black people. I, I remember <laughs> seeing that and I'm going, this is so silly. It's so silly that it's, I love, see, I love shit like that. Yeah. I, I love shit like that. I had a friend back in the day. I don't know if he still does it. Uh, uh, Bill Scully. And he did this thing where he did Mike Myers uh, <laughs> accepting an Oscar, but coming up like the yeah, thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he didn't know where to go. <laughs> so he's, just, he's holding it and he's just looking around and like it was just so fun that he did like Mike Myers like rollerblading on the boardwalk <laughs> and like shit like that is so we need that like you need that because listen we got people that go up and tell real stories yeah we got people that do you need the fucking like bizarre and I and who the fuck by the way who knows that a mere who knows that mere cats have like comedians in there, right? Con. That, like that's amazing. But you study that shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But I, I think, um, you know, like you just said, it's like you got people telling stories, and they're they're, they're the truth tellers, and this and that. I say, oh, what about what about the people who just say shit? Like who just, just say shit? Just kind of funny. Like, I mean, not not everybody's funny. Who's like, just kind of silly? Like yeah, they, you know, because inherently or whatever, it's like we're all comedians. I'm like we're all silly. You know, like. <laughs> even even people that tell serious shit, it's all silly. Mm -hmm. Everything that we do is mm -hmm. silly, but there's levels of it. <laughs> and the people that go really silly and bizarre, and I think that's why that... I don't think somebody that is not a comedian would really come up with that. Or maybe they would, but like in mm -hmm. a, that's, mm -hmm. that's some shit that a performer does, I, I think. I, I also got friends, like all my friends, like my, my personal friends, not, not comedians, but just my friends from back home or whatever... We are. That's the that's the type of shit we sit around the living room and just talk about because we're like right. dumb. We're like we're still silly and dumb and say <laughs> weird shit all the fucking all day. So it's like I'm like them, but I'm just a comedian, you know? Right. You decided to perform. Yeah. Like remember when you was younger, you just sit around and say stupid shit with your friends all day. Uh, uh, it was like for some reason I just still held on to that shit or whatever. Probably because I still hang out with the fools. <laughs> like, <was> <laughs> yeah. Do you, now you're from um. You're from, from Compton? Yeah, I'm from Compton, California, South Central. Yeah. Okay. So so when uh when was your like high school? When did you graduate high school? L four. Okay. Yeah. So oh. so Compton was it was not you didn't grow up in the boys in the hood, Compton, the way everybody hears that and they think it's like or it is like that. Mm, like I I grew up like uh like I stayed in the house a lot. <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> like 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 uh I did have like gang banger, like 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 family members and shit you know what i'm saying like they were in that i was the i was the i was the art i was the artist so i was like okay. I, would in, I would stay in the house i would be kind of quiet or whatever or all my friends were like squares but they were like funny like squares we weren't bitches but we were like we didn't like to get into trouble we just like the mischievous type people right whatever. but you would just hang with that and kind of be inside like lay low yeah. while the other shit was going on yeah, yeah 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 um but you were aware not to be yeah. Like you didn't want to fuck with that. Nah, 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 nah. Me and nah, me and my friends, we were in the we were in the 
parties and like girls and stuff like we were we weren't like gangbangers and stuff yeah yeah i remember that when when i remember when that movie came out and i didn't realize what what, what was amazing about that movie john singleton mm -hmm. what was amazing about that was it made a lot of america realize that like that there's like a basically a war going on within a neighborhood. Yeah, like, bro. Like, it's I mean, it's still kind of like that. Like, you know, like um they still got gang wars like and all that stuff, but you know. Uh who else is from who else is from Com um uh, Serena, Kendrick Lamar, you know Kevin Costner's from Compton. No. Yeah, Kevin Costner's from Compton, bro. Kevin Costner's from Compton? <laughs> yes, the bodyguard is from Compton. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I Whitney just... Houston wanted him to look after. He was like <laughs> <laughs> I did not know that. Yeah. She needed somebody with some silent gangster too. That's tone. that's yep. Yeah, he seemed like he'd be from like Either Texas or like or Boise, Idaho. Yeah, nah, he's Idaho, from Montana. Compton. He's from he's from yeah. Compton. He's the only person from Compton with cowboy boots I've yeah. ever seen. Actually, you ever heard of the Compton Cowboys? No. So there are cowboys in Compton. No. Yep. Mike, can you look this up? Not that I don't believe you. I just want to. I just <laughs> see if we get a picture. Yeah. Maybe niggas in Fubu jerseys on horses, bro. No. Uh huh. Yep. That's, yeah. Not not nowadays. It used to be that's like, like that little Nas X shit. <laughs> <laughs> like it's crazy. <laughs> Eating hot fries on the back of a horse, like. <laughs> I, I, I did a joke back in the day how um, if uh, black people got involved with horse racing, yeah. how much better it would be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> fucking jersey on. Look, 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 look. Told you. <laughs> Wait, how, where are the horses from? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they got a nearby stable. Oh shit, Compton yep. Cowboys. Yep. Holy shit. I think that's how gang how gang war should be. Everybody yo, on could horses. Could you imagine how gangster that would be if you just be like, yo, my boys are coming. <laughs> <laughs> You're waiting for a fucking... <laughs> oh, man. Yo, that is... Dude, that's could, the, the, yo, could you imagine if you, get in, you got out? into a scuffle? You get into a scuffle, you're like, my boys are coming. <laughs> yep. And all of a sudden, you're like... <laughs> look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. And you need help getting off? Yeah. <laughs> yo, nigga, help me down. <laughs> Damn, you almost broke my leg. They fall, they get <laughs> Dude, that is the greatest thing yep. I've ever seen. Compton Cowboys. Yep. Yo, they need to be a documentary. Uh, Yo, I, feel like, has... I feel like there are documentaries. Oh, on that? That's if, if fucking... I'm not mistaken. Yo, Kendrick Lamar needs to come out <laughs> with a white horse in Madison Square Garden. <laughs> Compton Cowboys. Oh, shit, yep. man. That's crazy. It's so fucking gangster. It's like, I remember... um. I remember, uh, uh, you know, Gerard, uh, Gerard Carmichael, Carmichael yeah. and um, I got a friend named Willie Hunter. They both created a Carmichael show or whatever. But, you know, we were all friends from like way back when or whatatever. So they used to drop me off at home. Is and, Gerard and, from Compton? No, no. Gerard's from North Carolina. Oh, but, okay. But when we were younger comics. Oh, okay. Uh, they used to take, they used to have to take me home to Compton, right? So it was like, oh, I, so they was like, oh, I've never, I've never been to Compton. Yeah, I'll go to Compton, right? <laughs> These two Southern kids, and I'm like, all right. So you know, we go on or whatever. So it's like, oh, Jamar, oh man, your your neighborhood kind of looks nice, you know. And then they look over there, like, wait a minute, you ever see Django with uh when uh when Jamie Foxx showed up on that horse? And Samuel Jackson was like, is that a nigga on the horse? He was like, who is that nigga on the horse? <laughs> whatever, that's how they was. It's like you saw a Compton cowboy like on a uh, horse, like, yeah, yeah. He was like, is that a nigga on the horse? It was like. Oh, with a FUBU jersey? Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> they, 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 Jamal, we're going to drop you here. Can yeah, you walk yeah. the rest of the <laughs> Did you, So you had to, like, what, what's, what scares me, but obviously that's just because it's from the things that I've seen on TV. And in the, But you had to watch what you wore, right? Yep. You yep. had to watch what you wore, yep. like, growing up. Was that something your parents I, were like, hey, you got, like, we're going neutral color shopping? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, right? I know, right? Pastels for everybody. <laughs> like, <laughs> what color doesn't offend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yep, yeah, like, um, yeah, I couldn't wear blue. I couldn't wear, uh, couldn't wear red. And it's so funny. I'm not even, I'm not a game banger, but red's my favorite color. I just like the color. <laughs> I couldn't wear that. And so, and anytime I, even, even blue jeans, like, I remember just wearing blue jeans. What? And like gangbangers would be like, hey man, what's up with them blue jeans? I'm like, nigga, these are dungarees. <laughs> like, like, I'm like, I can't wear dungarees. <laughs> like, Yo, these are Levi's. Like, man. I gotta go to school. <laughs> oh, so it was like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. they would be, they would be like, it wasn't like pop off just if they. So they would like ask you questions first, right? Yeah, yeah. Like if you're like, because even though, 
but like I, I was still kind of like unassuming. You didn't know really know like what I did. You know what I'm saying? Like I, me personally, like so I had a backpack on or whatever, but I had like blue pants or whatever, and I'm walking like a you know, like a whatever. So they were like, oh, yeah, where are you from? Instead, I'm not like the obvious game where I like walk down the street and I'm looking for trouble. They were like, like curious that. because it wasn't yeah. the norm. You yeah. If I was walking like this, they'd be like, oh, boom. <laughs> Jesus Christ. There, like, so that, like, the way people, like, that's wild, man. Yeah, yeah. You the can, way you walk and shit. You can sense it. You can sense it on certain people, you know, or, and so, like, uh, a guy like me, they would just try and rob, you know, like, you know, okay, he doesn't look like he gangbangs or whatever. He looks, like, pretty neutral or whatever. Yeah, just give me your wallet. Maybe piss lockers wouldn't should be up in there. Oh, like, shit. Yeah. But I would tell, like, uh, yeah, but I would tell, like, certain family members, I'm like, man, this guy did this to me. And they was like, wait, who would he look like? And I'm like, all right. And next thing I know, <laughs> like next thing I know, the fools would be like, all right, man, you ain't got to worry about him no more. I'm like, what y'all do to him? Don't ask. Oh don't shit! Ask. Wow. So no, no, were... I don't think they killed. No, no, they yeah, yeah, no yeah. murder, nothing. But yeah, just, yeah, like, but just you, you're all right. Yeah, <laughs> they didn't know I was certain. I was related to certain people, so they were like, yeah. You have siblings? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I have two brothers and one sister. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so you were was the comedy store your first joint? Um, I started going up at the. It's, it's such a weird story. Like when I was 16, I I skipped school to go do a comedy to go do a comedy show. I asked my auntie. I said, "Man, I want to be a comedian." I said, "Can I go? Can I? They got this comedy competition down the street. Can I go to that?" She was like, "You gonna skip school?" And I was like, "Yeah." And then she was like, "All right." She's like, "Go down there and be professional." <laughs> And I did everything but be professional, Paul. I love how, I love how she said, you're going to skip school, right? Do the wrong thing? Go, go down, go down, be professional. <laughs> yeah, man. And so I, and I was at this place called Mixed Nuts. Uh, and then, um, but I really, really, really started at the Laugh Factory in uh, Laugh Hollywood. Factory. Yeah, 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 yeah. I skipped school again. This time it was a college class or whatever. I said, man, I'm going to go do stand-up. And I, hadn't, and I haven't stopped doing stand-up since like from 18 till now, you know? Wow. Okay. So you, yeah, you, but this is factory. all you've been doing, pretty much. This yeah, is and, all you've been doing. And acting. Yeah. 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 Uh, and that's why you're doing a drama class. Yeah. 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 I was doing a bunch of. Um, I was doing the acting and and stand up like simultaneously, like since I started, like yeah. eighteen, like acting and comedy, acting and comedy. Because that's why I have like such a weird style where it's kind of act outy, kind of like that or whatever. Cause yeah. Yeah. I saw you do some shit. I'll never forget, and I couldn't tell if you were miserable. Or if you were just, if that's what it was, but I was at the comedy store uh -huh. uh, and you were on stage maybe like one in the morning uh -huh. and you were laying down on your back looking up at the ceiling. Oh, yeah. And I was just like, all right, because I just poked, I was like, he's either having a bad set <laughs> or just doesn't give a fuck. But it was like nobody was in there. I was bored. Paul. It, look, it was nobody in there. I was bored. Yeah. I was like, I had did the things that I had wanted to try out. Yeah. And so I was at the like, <laughs> all right. I'm just about to chill. I'm like, and I literally was like looking at the clock until like it was my time to get to get off. And yes. I was like, all right, man, I'm out. Like, <laughs> if this is me, nobody can, it's like you said, like nobody can really tell like if yeah. this is the act or not. So nobody, yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. So that's like, that's like the luxury of being me. Like, we're just like, well, I don't know. I guess it was uh, eccentric. <laughs> yeah, anything you do, people are like, no, that's just Jamar. <laughs> like, you're like that guy sucks. You know, the, <laughs> the, no, the first time I, the first time I like recognized you, because I, I, we just had um, not long ago, we had um, Jeremiah Watkins yeah, on the yeah, show, yeah, yeah. and Jeremiah Watkins and you were on that wave. The wave, we were in the wave. So at, for on the, the people roast that, when they would do the roast battle, they would like the three. There were three of you. Me, Willie Hunter, the guy I took to Compton, and um, and um, and Jeremiah. Jeremiah. So they would be there, and when like a crazy diss would happen, or like when the crowd would go, "Oh, they got up and they did like, some wild oh, shit. shit." Yeah, like did you didn't <sighs> one of you spit something out? Yeah, like yeah, they would yeah. just go nuts, and then all of a sudden get right back into the thing. <laughs> like and and then I remember seeing you after, and I was like, "Oh, that's the dude. That's the dude from that," which is hilarious. Yeah. Um, but you didn't do roast battles. Oh, I did, you did. I did roast battle. Remember, I roast. I roast battle. I roast battled. Uh, my mo my biggest one. I roast battled Yamanika, uh, uh, season three. Oh, uh, for goes that comedy uh... on, on the Comedy Central. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. And that was my that was my big battle. That was before the wave or or after. It was during the wave. So oh, I, so okay. On that episode, I was doing the wave, and then after that, they were like, uh, they were like, well, you usually see him in the wave, but 
He's gonna come up here and rose battle now. It's Jamar, and so it's me and Yamanika. <laughs> like, that's, yep. uh, and then I went right back to do the wave. Right, did you? <laughs> <laughs> like, I was using props and shit. I saw, no, I saw one where you got up, and I don't know you something. You either spit something you threw. You did something which got a big thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I forgot who was the judges. I don't know if it was like Nikki Glazer, Anthony Jeselnik, or yeah, one yeah, of the. Yeah, yeah, and you yeah. did something. You did something, and they, they laughed at the diss. But then when they saw you, that every it laughed again. <laughs> yeah, 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 that, yeah, that's fucking hilarious. Yeah, man. yeah, and yeah. You said something too on the special that made me laugh. Where you said, uh, "Did you say that like, or no? Was this them? Do you work out so much you'll even just to hang around the gym, even if you're not? You go to the gym a lot or no? I do go to the gym a lot. And then, but did was it? I, mean, I don't know if it was Themless. Somebody said I thought it was you who go. You just hang out at the gym, even if you're not working out. You walk around, oh. but you hang out. <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I fucking forgot that. I forgot the joke. It was maybe like a throwaway I said or something. Yeah, like, you, you, uh, yeah you were talking about how, like, you go, I got so much, like, I don't like free time. I always got to be, <laughs> so you said that's why I got jacked. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. I, oh, yeah, I, I said that shit on, like, another on like another podcast or some shit where I was just like, man, like, I got I got so much energy that I. That I <laughs> that's what it was. Yeah, yeah, I got so much energy that I. I would just go to the gym. Sometimes I don't even work out. I just got to be there and just watch other people work out. And that's like working out for me sometimes where I'm just like, yeah, man, get them reps. <laughs> like, yeah, man. They, like, Yo, like, there's Adder's something weird. so like, funny about somebody that is so hyped up with energy <laughs> that even when you're not doing shit, I'm the light. You're like a gym hype man. <laughs> you're you're like, the... Get that shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> yo, that wasn't a full push up. Yeah, come on, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, extend, extend. <laughs> oh, that's the clip. That's hey, the clip you over there the... on the speed bag. <laughs> Get that shit. <laughs> oh, that's the clip for this episode. Mikey, can you mark that timestamp? Hell yeah. Oh, shit. That is so... Dude, I, if I was at the gym and I just saw some dude intently looking at me, I'd be like, yo, is everything all right, man? <laughs> Don't worry about me, man. Keep on working. Keep on working out. Pump that shit. Pump that shit. Yo, he needs water. <laughs> <laughs> you can't dehydrate. It's bad for your muscles. <laughs> oh, shit. That's funny. Yeah, you do seem like a dude. That's what... I, you know what, man? Like, that's what I... I love about dudes like you, and I love not even just the eccentric, just like, just like different perspectives, man. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like it's so, it's so. And I saw um, Rogan had you on. Yeah, and um, I'm sure he felt like he was like the same, like that you're just a different cat, right? Was that what he was saying? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because in the in the caption, it was like the very uniquely um, <laughs> <laughs> funny you Jamar neighbors and whatever. And I was like, eh. Unique, I guess that's the thing now. Oh, I, yeah, I could just cool. imagine like teachers having a meeting about you, your teachers. It's like, bad. Uh, where they call your parents and, uh, we got to talk about Jamar. He, uh, <laughs> he took his shirt off and started skateboarding <laughs> in the class. That sounds about right. <laughs> Jamar smoking a cigarette in the back of the classroom talking about, I already know this shit. Like, <laughs> can you come get him? <laughs> Jamar knew that meerkats were comedians. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's what I wanted to ask you. What other, like, wild animal facts? You got any other, like, other than meerkats being comedians? <laughs> Now I want to know. You're like a snap. You're like a human Snapple fact. Flamingos are pink because they eat a lot of shrimp. Okay. Uh, uh, jelly <laughs> jellyfish have three hearts. Really? Yep. Um, <laughs> yep. Um, Imagine like, you just said I, shit. I was like, Mike, we have to. Just like, give me an animal. Just give me an animal. <laughs> he's like, he's like, eagles are OCD. <laughs> <laughs> eagles are obsessive compulsive. Like shit, nobody could know. They have an eagle. They have an eagle called the harpy eagle that looks like a uh, that looks like a stalker in the uh, uh, that looks like a stalker. It's like the size of a five year old kid. <laughs> Yeah, and it just hangs out in the tree. Looks like a skinny Jewish guy in a yeah, flannel. Yeah, I swear, like a like a really sketchy mugger just chilling in the tree. Yep. I don't know why I thought a Jewish guy would be a stalker. Should we cut that, Mike? Uh, uh, <laughs> I smell comedian. money around here. Comedian Paul Verzi calls Jews stalkers. Somebody has money around here. <laughs> I can smell it. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> That's racist. Oh shit! <laughs> Follow that guy. Oh shit! All right, I'll give you one. I'll give you one. Ready? Okay. All right, I'll give you one. I'll give you one. I'll try to, um, pig. A pig. So uh, they're actually they're actually uh, they're actually some of the cleanest animals. Like when they roll around in mud, it's because they're sweating and they don't have any sweat glands. Shit. So that's why they roll around in mud like that. What? Yeah. Did you oh, know that? No. Oh yeah. This is fu the only one that I think that you said that I I might have heard was 
Flamingo. Maybe the flamingo. Yeah, like maybe, but like it, it rang a bell. But like I don't know if if I exactly did from that. But all right, so. But you didn't know it. Uh, octopus have like three hearts. I don't think so. No. Okay. Did An you octopus that? could change colors. They could change colors, right? Like uh -huh. to, to when they're out of the water, right? Uh, or yep. or yep. in the water too. They camouflage anywhere. That's crazy. Like a chameleon type mm -hmm. shit. Uh, did you know that? Uh, did you know that sharks? Uh, shark skin can um, it, is uh, they never ever get sick because uh, their skin can fight off cancer. What? Yep, their skin can fight off cancer, and, and alligators they're actually biologically immortal. You know, they can only die of like uh, what, wait, what, who, what? Alligators. Alligator. Alligator because their blood, their blood is um, Shit. their blood fights off viruses naturally. So that's why you see like alligators are like super old. Like the only like things just kill them. Like only like the only way they die is like things kill them. Like a, maybe like a leopard. So they or, could go a hundred years. Yeah, yeah, they're very because they're dinosaurs. That's crazy. Yep. So they're the last living dinosaurs. No, birds are dinosaurs. Did what you know birds are dinosaurs? No, but what about a, how is how is a rhinoceros not a dinosaur? I, I oh my god, oh my god! I just said that three days ago. I said that looks like a fucking dinosaur. Yo, first of all, it's a rhinoceros. Yep. And it's got the horn, but the horn is made of hair, right? Yeah. Okay, that that I know. Ah, uh, go ahead. I got, yeah, okay. I, I got two. The only one I know <laughs> is that a rhinoceros' horn is made of hair. Mike, you know one? Dude, how cool is this episode, man? We're do we're dropping some fucking <laughs> we're dropping some animal nuts. Do you have I have one I have one other one than than uh, a rhino's horn is made of hair. Do you have one? Go for it. There you go. The other one that I know is cats, because I have a cat. Mm-hmm. I had two cats. They were real brothers. One passed away at 16 years and two months. Sorry and his brother, that, yeah, that, that was Thomas. His brother Stanley, I still have. Okay. Stanley is 18 years and two months. Cat's life expectancy is 13 to 16. But did you know that felines cannot get Lyme's disease? What? Yeah, ticks can. So, like, that's why you always got to check that when the dog comes in, you always got to check the dog for ticks. Uh -huh. A cat can't, doesn't, can't get it. A feline can't get Lyme's disease. Dude. Did you know? Okay, here's another thing about yo, cats. Yo, I see him going. He's like, yo, he's like, he's like, yo, I'll see your cat and I'll raise you this shit. <laughs> you got me. Uh, okay, did you know that cats only only meow to communicate with humans? They don't do it to each other. Did you notice that? Holy shit! Well, now that I now that you said that, and I have a cat for 18 years. You know, it's funny. Giannis came over. Uh -huh. Giannis, a friend of mine, he lives yeah. on the same he lives on the same block. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he was from Brooklyn forever, uh -huh. and then he would he would visit me upstate, yeah. and he was like, "I gotta I gotta do this." So he lives six houses down, on the same side of the street. Yeah. So I was just in Providence at the Comedy Connection. Yeah. I was like, Giannis, can you take care of? You know, and he like gave my cat his diabetes shot. My cat gets two diabetes shots. He's got, cats get diabetes and cats also get uh, leukemia a lot. Okay. Uh, di diabetes and leukemia are very big in felines. But uh, Giannis said, he goes, man, when I came to the house, he goes, Stanley walked right up to me, started meowing. Mm -hmm. But it was, that makes sense because he would, he knew that Giannis was the person that could give him food. Mm -hmm. But so they won't meow to another cat. Mm -hmm. Is that No, right? no. Wow. And when they and and their and their penises, they have thorns on the on the penises. So that's why that's why the cats be like moan. I mean, yeah, they're moaning because they're fucking, but like they're moaning, <laughs> but also like more because they have, they have like, like thorns and prickles on the, on their penises. Th that's that's not wild cats. You're talking about domestic all cats. All cats. Oh shit. Yeah. Mike, you got anything or did you Google something? <laughs> no, I uh the only one that I can think of is polar bears uh fur oh, is colorless. Thing. Wait, oh. what? The polar bear's fur is has no color to it. It's just reflecting the sun and the snow. And they actually oh. have black skin yep. to absorb heat. And then this the fur is like, it's completely colorless. And they're all left-handed. No. Know that. Yep. Get the fuck out of you Google bullshit. It. Google it. Get the fuck out <laughs> Google it. It's like, yo, they're all Leo. <laughs> Yo, they're all Sagittarius. <laughs> no, Google that. Yo, everybody listening to the Versi Effect right now. 573, you guys are getting facts. You know somebody's going to be writing these down. That is hilarious. Bro, I be, bro, I be thinking, I be looking, I be reading this shit all damn day. I'm like, damn. So this is from The Guardian. Apparently yeah. all polar bears are left-handed. They sneak up on prey by covering, <laughs> covering their noses with their right paw. Their nose being uh, black and therefore showing up against the snowy white what background. What hand do they hold the Coca-Cola bottle with? They... <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, Google that. Google the Coca-Cola bear. See what yeah, hand he's holding. Yeah, I want to see the Coca-Cola commercial. <laughs> well, they they cover their mouth with their their right hand so that no one can see them because that's a, the dark part of their body. Yeah. And then they oh, swipe with their left. Damn. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. shit. Yeah. So they so their their fighting hand is the is the right hand is the left hand. Box, if they're a box and the right hand is the don't is the John Cena don't look at me. <laughs> Dude, that is a that's a good one, Mike. That's great. You fucking you, yeah, that oh, was cool. So oh, I didn't know the left-handed one. I just.
just knew about their. Dude, yeah. when you said that, I'm not gonna lie. I, 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 you knew the meerkat thing made me think you knew, but the way you said it, I was like, he might be bullshit. <laughs> it was like no, you were man, like, I'm yo, scared. they're all lefty. <laughs> yeah, they're all they're all southpaw. <laughs> Did you know owls get depressed? Uh, <laughs> owls can turn their head around, right? The whole yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's that's a. Here, here's one I just looked up. Crazy animal facts: chameleons' tongues are as long as their body. Wow. Mm -hmm. Did you know frogs don't sleep? Yes, that one I heard. Oh, but like they 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 I chill. I feel like though. a hack now. They, no, they, 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 they like, chill though, right? Yeah, yeah, like yeah, they, yeah. Their eyes are closed. I feel like I've been a frog for the last week and a half. And whales <laughs> and whales, the way they sleep, since uh, uh, they shut off one side, one hemisphere of their brain. Um, okay. Uh, so they can sleep. Um, so when die. we were when we were in Hawaii, me and my wife for our ten year wedding anniversary. Shit, mm -hmm. that was five years ago already. Five <sighs> years ago, we went to Hawaii for our ten year wedding anniversary, and we went out on a, uh, a catamaran. Yeah. And uh, there was a school of dolphins. Is, is, is mm -hmm. it still school? Mm -hmm. It's still school if it's mm -hmm. dolphin, right? Mm -hmm. so, and um, they were I don't know they were like black dolphins or like w with a different color snout, mm -hmm. and they were just together. And he goes, "Yeah, they're sleeping." And I said, what? He said, they actually, when they're doing this together at a certain time of day, they're actually sleeping. He said, but their consciousness, if if trouble, something happens, they can like pop out of it. It's almost kind of like maybe like the whale yeah, shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. but they're actually like sleeping. That's how they're resting, which uh, is crazy, yeah. man. Yeah, that's a good one. We have any other ones? We, we, we... Okay, dolphins have bromances. Did you know that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Bottomless oh, okay. dolphins are homosexual, right? Is that... <laughs> bottom nose dolphin. Do you say bottom? bottom? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they eat ass, those dolphins. <laughs> oh, man, I love SeaWorld. <laughs> they about let the dolphins pet you. What do you, what do you know about gorillas' noses? Oh, all right. You, must know, test. you must know something. All right, right, let me guess. Let me guess. Gorilla noses, they can't smell. Wrong. Fuck. They can smell. Wrong. <laughs> They hear through their nose. No. Okay. <laughs> their noses are all unique wrinkles, just like a human fingerprint. Oh. So no two wrinkly, no, two. no wrinkled, no two noses on a gorilla are the same. Oh, like our fingerprints. The wrinkles, they're like fingerprints. Oh, that's crazy. I uh, didn't know that. Yo, do you, like I know everybody knows this, but they were talking about what a gorilla can do if it actually wanted to pull you apart. Like a gorilla can rip your rip our limbs off, like we're like. Like, like a piece of chicken. Like if we're just cutting, if we just go like that to a Snickers bar. Like if they, if, if a gorilla wanted to. Yeah. Like if they wanted to, like if it was really pissed, you're fucking with its young. It could, it could, it would not be pretty, man. Yeah. It's probably like like the the strength of ten dudes. Let me ask you that. Did you did you see Cocaine Bear? You know what? I almost ordered it the other day, two nights ago. But you know what? I got instead. I got Creed three. By the way, can I talk? I got to talk about Creed three real yeah, quick. Yeah, let's talk about Creed three. Okay. Yeah. By the way, Demos told me you're into boxing. I'm glad we brought that up yeah, because yeah. I, I thought of a polar bear as a southpaw. Uh -huh. So we'll talk about boxing now. <laughs> this will be a good. This will be a good transition. Uh, that was great animal talk, by the way. So, I loved Creed two. Just because of the from a kid, the Drago thing got yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And I love how Creed 2 end where Drago threw the towel in for his son yeah. because Drago killed Apollo. That whole thing, like, I was like, okay, I could get it. I was with my son. It was good. Then my son and his friends, now they're 13. They went to Creed 3. They liked it. Here's what I didn't like about Creed 3. I didn't like that. Uh, spoiler alert, everybody. So you could either hit pause or or stop the, you saw it? Yeah, I saw okay. it. Okay. Mike, you see it? It's okay though. Okay. Uh, spoiler alert: If you guys listen to the episode, just stop it here. We'll you know fast forward whatever. Jonathan Major plays uh, a childhood friend in, in Compton. Mm -hmm. Childhood friend from Compton to uh, Apollo's son Adonis Creed. They get into some trouble. He goes to jail for pulling out a gun and helping his friend, and his friend runs away. Adonis Creed runs away, who's the champion of the world, who's now retired. This kid gets out of jail after 18 years, shows up to Adonis Creed, who just had a Hall of Fame career, and he goes, yo, I want a shot at the title. <laughs> and they give him, and he's like, man, that'll be kind of hard. And he's like, oh, I was a top amateur. That shit, and then this fucking dude gets a shot at the title because he, hurt, he was supposed to fight Drago, and Drago gets hurt, Drago's son gets hurt. Which you come to find out that he set up Drago getting hurt. He had one of his thug friends in jail show up to a party and fuck Drago Jr. up. And now, all of a sudden, Adonis Creed, who's the promoter, goes, I guess we'll give you the shot. And the guy becomes heavyweight champion of the world with all three belts. He just did 18 years, dude. That's where it lost me. And I didn't like how in the final fight it went like blank and it was just them. I didn't love that. I mean, I understand what they're trying to do, but give me your thoughts. I'm sorry if I ruined it for you anybody. You said all my thoughts. 
Yeah, it was it was it was too. It was that. You, you, you <laughs> can't get a like, title shot. I said, <laughs> I said, wait, I said, I said, I know they friends, I know y'all homies and shit. That shit seemed more like a hookup. Like, hey yo, nigga, let me get a shot at the title. <laughs> well, you my boy. You know what I'm saying? I said I'll hook you over the job. <laughs> yeah, he, he just got out of jail and goes, I want a shot. And he was older than than Adonis Creed, who had to retire because he was old. So his old friend who pulled out a gun comes out of jail after 18 years, wins a title shot, and became nasty. <laughs> like, that shit is Yeah, it was not and I and I think that's why Sylvester Stallone. Now I don't know this, but I saw an interview with Sylvester Stallone and they go, this is the first Rocky Creed movie that you're not a part of, you're not in. And he goes, when I read the script, this is what he said. He goes, look, he goes, I, you know, I, I love Michael. And everything. he's like, when I read the script, he's like, that's not what I thought this to be. And he goes, look, I want to be in four. He goes, I want to be in the fourth one, but like, I can't. You know, Rocky read that shit and was like, nah. No. Like, no, I, like you can't have a guy get out of jail and just win the title. My 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 other thing, my other thing Jake about Paul it. Jake Paul didn't have it that easy. <laughs> <laughs> Jake Paul had more shit. Jake Paul had to at least start knocking out like you know, he had to fuck up Nate Robinson first. <laughs> <laughs> and the other thing about uh, the other thing I that, that kills me about I mean really all the Rocky movies, but uh you know, much respect to all the actors, whatever. I wanna be in one. Uh is that um is that like the motherfuckers can't even fight. Like <laughs> they're always like Creed is always getting fucked up the whole fight. <laughs> Until the twelfth round, every single and I'm like, can you even fight? Like, like why? Like why do you even? Why? Why are you here? I, I was actually thinking that too. They've never had a Rocky movie where like the hero actually fucks a guy up for a round. Yeah. He always is getting fucked up, and then all of a sudden there's you gotta dig deep, and then he comes. It's like, how about Rocky fucks a guy up and knocks him out in the third round, and then you go to another scene once. Yeah, you think you think a guy is like it's, it's like, like he is the champ. Look, look. <laughs> You gotta think about it like this. It, I mean, I know, and I know it's, I know it's a movie or whatever. It, but it's like, okay, you're getting fucked up for twelve rounds, and you eventually knock the guy out in the twelfth round or whatever. But if you're getting fucked up for those many rounds, the referee would throw in the, the tile. Yeah. I mean, the, the referee would stop the fight. Like, yo, he, this nigga can't fight. <laughs> Somehow, <laughs> like, this movie is about heart. I get it. But it's like, I've seen a lot of boxers get, get the fucking towel thrown in just for fucking having heart. It's fucking insane. They can't, Jonathan Major couldn't fight. It's like, so now I'm watching two of yeah, the John, best. He was doing this. Yeah. What, what was, did you see that? It's, it's a, like, it's, why it's, was, it's, is that it's, a, is it's that a cross, thing? It's cross, the, it's a cross defense. So it's like, I, I, I do, I do, I do that defense like sometimes or whatever. I switch it up. I go like this or I go like this or I go like this he kept on going like this like this like that was his defense and then his tell was so in the movie that's why he showed, kept on getting hit to the body yeah they showed him like this <laughs> and then you see Adonis Creed when it's slow motion you saw that he saw he had a window here yep. so then he banged him there and mm -hmm. then he knocked him out at the end but um then was told me you box yeah so you like am like you? No 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 no. I, I train. I train because I don't want people to be like, oh, yeah, I heard you box and see me on the street and like want to fight and shit or whatever. But it's like I uh, I train. I spar. Like I do that shit. You're at the stand tonight doing a set. Y'all fuck you up. I was I was at the comedy cellar last night with, uh, talking to Josh Adam Myers and a yeah. guy walked up to me. He was up to like you ain't that tough, and I was up to like what? He was what? like you ain't that tough, and I what, said what are you talking about? for what? Out of fucking nowhere. And he was like, no, I'm just kidding, man. I saw you in some movies, and you always play a tough guy. And I was at the, like, oh, all right. The, oh, the guy, oh. but, I, but he was It's so funny like, how sometimes fans or people that recognize you can say it in the worst way. Yeah. It's like, come up to, just come up and go, hey, man, I love what you do. You don't have to, yeah. like, now I feel like I got to fight. Yeah, and, I, and I, that's why I said, I said, I said, I told him, I said, man, I don't want to fight right here. You know, and then he was at the, no, I'm just playing, man. I saw you in some movies. You always play a tough guy. And I was at the, oh, all right. But say that, you know. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but uh, what but, movie did you play a tough guy in? Uh, Keanu with um. Wick. No, no uh, close. It was supposed to be like a um. It was Jordan Peele and Key and Peele's first movie. Uh, Keanu, where they had to chase that cat. Oh, whatever, the like, cat. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And I played uh, yeah, like Stitches or whatever. It was like a, it was a henchman of like three henchmen. Was it cool? Was it cool working with Jordan Peele? Yeah, and, yeah, and the, yeah, 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 yeah. It was my fucking. He's cool. a beast, man. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, fucking genius. What's the call? Was what's the call? Was one of the the last movie that I can remember where I was kind of like blown out of the theater. I was performing in Cincinnati, 
and I went to a, went to the movies by myself, and it was one of those movies that had like the recliners where you could order food. Oh hell but yeah! I, but I didn't I didn't do the whole order food. Wine. I just I just yeah you can <laughs> no you can you can get like a burger and a mm-hmm. beer. But I just laid back. I think I had some Twizzlers, and I'm on this recliner, and it was uh, Get Out. Oh yeah yeah yeah. And yeah. I was just like the way that came together at the end and all that. I was like, and you know, it was nice to see like Hollywood. It was nice to see like some original original ideas it was such yeah. an original idea yeah. from the opening when they take the kid in the in the trunk yeah well they put him that was insane man yeah and um it's so funny because I, I i i was talking to him and he said um i said i said what are you doing after this he said oh i'm about to go do another movie and i said oh okay i said uh what's the movie he said it's a horror movie and at first i was like a horror movie and then Get Out happened. I was like, oh, a horror movie. I was like, oh, this is... Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was, that was, in my mind, I was shitting on you. <laughs> I was like, a horror movie. Oh, and I was like, oh, yeah, horror. I want to go see Get Out with a white girl. <laughs> I really did. But I feel I feel like I feel like Get Out isn't, isn't a horror movie for me. I don't think it's a horror... I think it's... A horror movie for me, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I guess. But I feel like it was almost like a thriller. Like, because, because there was no... But a horror movie to me is there's a boogeyman during it. A horror movie, and I guess you could look at that, but a horror movie for me is there's a guy and somebody's going to get killed and we need to get away from the killer or there's like, or you're trying to find out who the killer is. This was done in a... I, oh, you just described the plot of Get Out. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is Get Out. No, but is it? <laughs> yeah, but that's I don't like, know. it's a horror movie for, I think, for black people versus white people. Like, that's, the, that's the whole crutch of that. Am I crazy? No, no, that's no. The story. I, that's, what I, that's what I said. Yeah, I said, yeah, I, said, yeah, I, said yeah. I want to go see it with a white girl and I swear to God, I swear to God, like, as the movie was going on, I kept looking at her like, <laughs> and then she was like, I, I'm not like that. And That's, I go, yeah, I guess what it is, is it's, it, when I think of a horror movie, I think of either demonic possession, like, po- like, like, yeah, like, a po- or like possessed, yeah, a yeah. house is haunted, a slasher film where this, I felt like at the end you reveal, oh shit, all these people are evil, but I understand, I understand Next that level. it could go under Maybe that. if you categorize it like a psychological horror. Yeah, because there's a lot of like, a lot of nuance that to shit it. Was weird, yeah, it was a good. I like it, I, so I, good. It was weird. Yeah, it was great, but in a great way. Yeah, when yeah. when uh, when the brother, when the drunk brother at the beginning was being a dick, mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. realize that he was the drunk. Yeah, he was the drunk dude. That was just basically like, I know what's going to ultimately happen. Mm-hmm. So like, fuck you. And they're like, yo, chill. We don't want to reveal this yet. Yeah. Yep. And and yeah, man, it was. Uh, I didn't see. Uh, I didn't like. Us as much. Us, Us was uh, like when the people were the identical. Younger. When the, pe- yeah. the people were identical, when they were like underground, living the. I didn't love that, and I didn't see Nope. Did you see Nope? I didn't see Nope. Did you see Nope? Uh, no, yeah, that's. I saw Us, and I was, yeah, and I was just like, which one? Nope. I mean, not uh, uh, Us. The Lupita Nyong'o top bottom, that one. Yeah. And I was just like, I was like, All yeah. The right. exact family shows up to the house. I like the idea. Like, yeah. Uh, but I think I got lost like near the end. Um, Candyman. Remember he directed Candyman, a new one. Who did? Jordan. Oh, did I didn't see. Candyman? I didn't see the new one. Is good. Oh, okay. At the beginning, I loved it. I yeah. was like, Oh fuck! I was like, he's killing this shit. But then near the end, they made it about a message. Like I don't, I don't want to see a horror movie with a message. Like it no. was like about like oh um making black people like I, I forgot what the fuck it was. But it was just like, all right, now, now, now I'm not, now I'm not here anymore. Because Candy, the original Candy yeah. Man wasn't about like having a message. It was a dude, who, you know, fucking bees in his mouth, fucking people up in Chicago and shit for saying his name three times. I mean, five times, whatever. This one, I think they try to attach like some sort of a message to it. Oh yeah, I yeah. Like, I was like, come on, man. Yeah, yeah. Keep the. So keep... it's a message out of nowhere. It's like, so don't forget, the bee population is important to keep up. <laughs> Honey yeah. and pollinating is vital to civilization. Well, she, well, M Night, M Night Shyamalan. One of the movies was like basically about the environment, right? Like, was the one where like where like ha- like the happening, like something with the trees, and you're like, is this a message or like like listen? I understand movies that may you may want to have like a like the movie Traffic. You remember Traffic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or no, not Traffic, Crash. Was it Crash? I remember Crash. What was the one where like? Was that ludicrous in that? Wasn't ludicrous was in that? Moore, and, all that. Uh, yeah, what's yeah. it? Terrence Howard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were like, they were all connected. Yeah. The the daughter takes the bullets out of the gun because the dad wants to go and shoot people. And they ended up. It's like all basically like all races and people are the same. And that was actually a good movie with a good message. But I don't like when like what he's saying when you try to take a horror movie, which I'm expecting the Candyman to fuck people up. 
Yeah, yeah. You know, like what's gonna happen? Like Mike Myers is not gonna like start. It's like, <laughs> it's like, you know why I did this? <laughs> we need better schools. It's like <laughs> Mike Myers is trying to like. What? <laughs> That's Jason. why I killed all those kids. Like, what? Jason Education is not up. <laughs> takes the mask off and says, "If you or anyone you know is all right." <laughs> PSA at the end. Not the PSA. Like I know it's fun. Re- I know it's re- fun to joke about murdering people at a lake, <laughs> but if you or anyone you know has been trapped in the wilderness. Wilderness. All right, he for Christ's sake. The mask off. This is what taxpayers' money. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Uh, no, man, there's nothing like a. There's nothing like a good. You walk out and you're like, I got my money's worth. I would have paid. I would have paid for that again. I almost went to see Creed three in the theaters the day it was on. It came out and I spent twenty four dollars to buy it, mm-hmm. and I was disappointed. What were you gonna say? Hey, but do go watch Cocaine Bear. Oh, that's that's where this all started. That's, it's kind of, it, it's kind of, it's not I mean, it's scary, but it's like it's it's kind of like it's is it silly? Cool. It's it's both. Because I and, saw and they do it right, and they do it right. They do because I saw a, the bear jumping, and he was like jumping at the truck, and I was like, man, am I gonna spend twenty five on this? It's worth it? it. Go see it. Go see it. Okay. Because you know what? It's one of the movies that knows what it is. You yeah. know, like it was like okay, this is really ridiculous it's about a bear on cocaine, but it's actually a, a true story. story. Yeah, <laughs> more more animal facts. It's actually based on a true story, uh, but yeah, I, and they they did the humor great. Uh, I thought it was just uh, thrilling enough. It okay. was good. It was good. Um. Yeah. So, uh, how long have you done stand up for? How many years? I'm going on twenty in uh, November. You're going on twenty. Okay, yeah. and you've acted for like what half that time? Uh. When you say acted, like what you mean, like like acting, like getting parts, auditioning, oh, okay, okay, shit yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Since I was around like eighteen, because I was a theater major though too, so oh, okay. I was like always up in that shit. But I, yeah, first job I had, I was twenty four on the Tosh show. What uh, what high school did you go to? I went to Dorsey High School in Los Angeles, LAUSD. What is the what is the um what's the school that the uh, I we, I was driving by and someone's like oh that's where the Chili Peppers went to high school. Do you know the, the Red Hot Chili Peppers? <laughs> kind of a little. Yeah. <laughs> well, where where were you driving? That's what I'm trying. That's what I'm fucking. I forgot, man. They were just like, yo, that's where what's his name? What Anthony Kiedis and. Oh. And, fl- and they were like, "Oh, that's the that's the high school the Red Hot Chili Peppers became friends and went there." It was like a, it was like a, I want to, it wasn't pink. It was fucking weird though. It was in California. I was like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I know Megan Markell went to. Uh, <laughs> didn't she go to like Hollywood High or some shit? Did she? Megan Markell, like she was, a, she's like a real hood bit. Not not a real hood bit, but she's like a real LA chick. He like just a- went to Fairfield Fairfax High School. Who? Key, Anthony Kiedis from Red Hot Chili Peppers. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, fair, you know what yeah, that is? I know is? exactly what. Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. That's that, a cool high school. Yeah, it was like w- unique looking, right? Everybody wanted to go to that high school. Really? Like when I'm growing up, everybody wanted to go to Fairfax. It's such a cool, yeah. He said Meghan Markle was a hood chick. I mean, she, yeah, she's kind of like, uh, where did she go? I know Immaculate she went, Heart High School. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's not a hood school, but that that's a very LA ass school. Is she? She's basic. Yeah, she's uh, <laughs> she's fine as fuck though. She's so cute. <laughs> yeah, she's she's. Gorgeous. I remember watching Scrubs, and I finished the whole thing just because I kept wanting to see her walk away in the <laughs> Wait, scenes. She was in Scrubs, or not she Scrubs? Did. I'm sorry, Suits. It's a great show, Suits, but she was in it. And I was just like, this. She ain't no. She ain't no elite paralegal. She, she the truth, like, but she. That's so funny. You two just stopped the podcast. Yeah, she's so cute, man. She's. <laughs> <laughs> she's, a, she's uh, she's like in L.A. back now, right? Like they're in L.A. I think, I think so. Yo, she took. I did a joke about that in that Netflix special. She took that fucker away from, from a kingdom, from a castle. Yeah. And put that motherfucker. In. I, I said in the special, I go, yeah, there's racists. I go, you mean the 94 year old fucking queen? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Something tells me she's not up on the times. <laughs> you mean the lady uh, that she, that's currently steals countries? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shocked. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. Live in yeah her face is on the money in Barbados. <laughs> <laughs> you mean that lady when I'm on the Caribbean with a fucking rum in my hand? <laughs> I'm paying it with her. Yeah, we, we you know me, Stacy and I. We went there. We went to. I performed in. London in October and we took a day and we went out to the to the to the Windsor Castle yeah and uh we saw dude we saw uh, Queen Elizabeth we saw her grave man it was there was a big line it was only it was only open for four days when we got there there's a line and we went in and you just saw it and she was there like with her she didn't she was so gangster that when her husband died rest is uh Prince Philip or whatever King Philip or whatever he she's like hold the body until I go and then we go together 
Whoa. So she, so they just had dude on ice. Damn. And then when she went, they went together. And I heard, I heard, I don't know if this is true, but I heard that it. she knew, or sometimes you know when they're cheating. Mm-hmm. And she was like, nah, it's all, like, it's all good. Like, you know, he, he's got to go do his thing or something. I don't know if that's real. Yeah, but that's- I, mean, she's, I mean, she was old. I mean, if you can get your dick hard and shit, <laughs> go out there and cheat on the queen. Like, <laughs> but the, if the queen can't even keep a man, <laughs> what's the? What's like, the yeah, that's what? how you know. That's how you know. It's, it's, <laughs> All you other bitches are fucked. Like, <laughs> <you know, that's, laughs> <laughs> bitch works at Applebee's. Like, oh, oh, <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> It's what like, you mean you cheat on yeah, me? What like, you mean? What you mean? I'm cheating on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If Queen Elizabeth can't hold it down, I don't think fucking Susie at fucking Cinnabon in the mall. Um, uh, all right, man. This has been, this has been so fun, dude. I think my favorite part of this show, everything was my, everything on this show was so fun. But the animal shit was so, <laughs> the animal shit. And, and we could have did the whole podcast about that, like just just going through animals. <laughs> well, next time we do it, we just go through another batch yeah, of animals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, yeah. amphibians is next episode. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> do you want one more to close it out? Yeah, let's do one more. Uh, most elephants weigh less than the tongue of a blue whale. That's how big a blue whale's tongue is. Most wow. elephants weigh less than a wow. Yeah. A what? Can you check the elef- how long uh, uh, elephant memory is? I think it's something like 80. They could remember some, something that happened 80 years. I think. I could be completely wrong. Uh, it's an old saying that it may be exaggerated, whether it's true or not, but a memory is key to survival, and sometimes it's heard. Uh, it doesn't really say when. But dolphins apparently have the longest known memory of any species on Earth, including really? people. And did, did, you know that, uh, did you know that if you were in the ocean... You were drowning. Uh, a well or a dolphin would save you. Yes, I I, they will I not didn't know kill you. I not. I didn't know a whale, but I knew a dolphin. Yeah, they don't harm humans. Like they don't like for some reason they respect us. Like hella. Really? Yeah, blue, yeah. Beluga whales apparently are also really good about like fetch. Like, yeah. If you see a beluga whale and they're like hanging out with you on your boat, you can like throw a thing and they'll go get it and bring it back. Oh, to I you. saw a video of that. Yeah, there was apparently a guy, this happens all the time. There was a guy like on this big fisher boat, whatever, and this fucking guy, the the beluga whale was right next to it, mm-hmm. and he took a football mm-hmm. and he just threw it as far as he can. Thing just went down, came back with it, playing fetch off the boat, man. That shit would fuck me up. <laughs> yeah. Like, how would you feel about that? Would you be like, that, or would it? Would it be I would. Kind of funny? Well, no, I would. No, I, it. It would make me want to have that shit as a pet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, is, is, can I take him? Like, I'm playing fed. In your nine foot pool, in your, your feet. That's, feet, a, Chappelle, like, that's yo. a Chappelle sketch if you ever came back. Oh, that, yeah, yeah. I got a beluga whale tank. Yo, dude, I was on vacation. I threw a football, man. That's that's my guy. Um, you what do you got, got coming? Shark tank. I got a beluga tank. <laughs> what do you got coming up, man? So I got. Um, I'm supposed to be going on tour with uh, with Shane Gillis, his last leg. Nice. Um, um, so that starts in May, whatever these dates are, from May 5th through June 24th. So, um, yeah, we're going to be in San Diego May 5th, May 6th, and um, Cleveland May 12th, May 13th. That's dope, man. Yeah, uh, yeah. That. And um, I don't know, just doing a bunch of stand up in town right now. And um, oh, I'm on This Fool. Uh, it's on Hulu. Um, so check that out. And now uh, Rotten Luther King Jr. Yeah, guys, check him out. Check him out when uh, when you go see Shane. He'll be opening. So funny. Um, check out Rotten Luther King Jr. Uh, Jamar has such a unique voice. Directed and, by. And uh, very in, in in the best of ways. And uh, if you want to reach out to him and ask him for a. Uh, Weird animal fact. You could get that I from him. You. Don't come up to him and want to fight. Come up to him and ask him. <laughs> <laughs> ask him. Ants know. can lift 20 <laughs> times their body weight. Yo, Jamar, great show. So, dude, do Blue Jays really? <laughs> <laughs> uh, check him out, guys. Uh, check me out on my tour, the Level Up Tour. Uh, I'm going to be in Raleigh, North Carolina, May 17th. I'm going to be in Charlotte on the 18th. Oh, April 28th. April 28th and 29th, I'll be at the Vulcan Gas Company doing four shows, uh, two Friday, two Saturday. Um, We have um, Tampa coming up. We have uh, uh, Denver, and actually by the time this comes out, I think Denver and Utah will be done. But I have a bunch of different 
A bunch of different shows coming up. More dates getting added. Go to paulverzi.com. Thank you all who spend in tick, uh, spending money, your hard-earned money on tickets to come and see me. Check out my special, which is still streaming on Netflix, Nocturnal Admissions. It's doing well. Thank you. Share it with a friend. Keep subscribing and liking uh, this podcast on um, YouTube. And send your send your uh, reviews, rate it, and all that. It makes the show go up. And get the Verzi effect everywhere you get your podcasts, uh, Spotify, iTunes, and all that. Check out the Anything Better podcast with me and Bill Burr, and the Bone to Pick podcast with me and Robert Kelly. Uh, that's it. I'm only doing three. I got the Verzi effect, anything better, Bone to Pick. I'm done. Shout out to Mike Albanese. Shout out to my guest, Jamar Neighbors. And uh, that's it. We'll be back uh, next week. I'll talk to you guys soon.